A downtown property will remain empty for a little while longer. A deal would have brought a slew of new additions to Macon, including a new hotel to Poplar Street. But the development project lost its bond funding and is back to the negotiating table. That's partially because of the impact of COVID-19 and how it's impacted business. Ashlyn Webb spoke to the Urban Development Authority and developers on the next step for the project. Picture a Hyatt Place hotel down the street, some lofts right here, and two new parking decks. That's what this area of downtown was supposed to be getting sooner rather than later. Now Macon Bibb County and the Urban Development Authority has terminated an agreement with developers that would have kick-started redeveloping this chunk of downtown. Now they're back to the negotiating table since all these new additions were tied up in one deal. The, the two parking decks, the lofts, and the hotel were all tied together on that development agreement. Um, so in order to negotiate a new development agreement that just focused on half of the project, we had to terminate the old agreement. The major deal breaker was concerning the Hyatt Place Hotel. Because there, there are a number of hurdles um, to get that hotel deal done. The Central City Commons project hasn't been able to get off the ground partially because of the COVID-19 pandemic and financing. The lenders are, um, even though I think they too realize this will pass at some point, they would be really tough to close a construction loan right now for a hotel project. On top of that, a new Marriott is set to start construction soon, just a block away from where the Hyatt Place plan to open. It's uh, a, a similar price range, a similar class of hotels. So yeah, between the pandemic and the other hotel going in, it's, uh, it's not the right time. It ain't now, one of the developers, Tim Thornton, says they're mainly focusing on developing DT Walton Senior Way with a parking deck and more than 90 lofts. We anticipate that um, should everything else come together, funding you know, from the private sector should be available for residential development. Um, that has not really been stifled by COVID. But Thornton says a new hotel is not completely off the table. We still hold the franchise rights to it. Um, we think that property is still the highest and best use is for a hotel. Thornton says they may revisit the idea of putting a hotel on Poplar a few years down the road. As for the lofts and parking deck that could be right here, the developers say they're actively talking to the county as well as business partners and hope to break ground at the beginning of next year. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. If developers and the county reach an agreement, the apartments will front Plum Street stretching around the corner onto DT Walton Way surrounding the existing buildings at the corner.